Welcome back to Misfits Boxing. Now I'm joined here with the one and only Slimmy Slim Slim. How we doing? Hey, yo, we good, man. We just watched the first, uh, the prelims in the fight. We had Vitaly about winning by a stoppage. Pretty fun fight. I wish Modine fought back, but you know. And the girl fight, they were scrapping the whole time. I think Nikki deserved the win. She was landing cleaner shots. Great fight. Great way to start the night, man. Main card. We have some good fights. You know, the Slimmy. lightweight lightweight tournament is on the way. Um, I'm, I'm excited because yeah. there has hasn't been much interest in the fights, but these guys could fight, though. You know what I'm saying? So like, it's gonna. I think it's gonna make up for it so I'm let's, excited let's talk about that last fight what did you make of it a lot of people are saying it's controversial do you think it was controversial nah I, I, it, Alexia did her thing like she, she's bigger she walked forward she absorbed all the punches but the cleaner punt and accurate punches were landed by Nikki she was landing that right hand every time she kept stepping back waiting for Alexia to come forward and then bang landed every time Alexia was landing like it was kind of like like it was like very exhausting punch it wasn't sharp punches you get me it was like tippy taps mm. while Nikki was landing them and then which after, you know all about yeah <laughs> Yeah, yeah, exactly. So like, more damage done by Nikki, more accurate punches done by Nikki. Alexi can get better. If, you get, if she, Alexi gets, she gets sharper, she'll be a real problem. Cause she was walking through everything, bro. She took all the punches. So I, I respect her. She, she, she had heart. But the clear, the better boxer was Nikki. Absolutely. Now let's talk about the rest of the card. We're moments away from that card starting. What do you make of it? Who are you excited to see step into the ring tonight? I ain't gonna lie. The most, uh, the, the fight that I'm kind of most excited for is um, is little uh, Yeti Gang. Yeti, Yeti Gang. I like Yeti Gang. I, don't, I, I like him. I, I like watching him fight because he's like a 12 round fighter, you know what I'm saying? He's a 12 round fighter, he has a nice pullback right hand, and he's fighting someone that could really fight too, Lil Crack, Lil Crack Ray. I, I watched him on YouTube back in the day, you know, so like, it's, it's cool to see him on this kind of, on this Misfit stage and uh, to see him box it out on 10 ounce gloves, so it's gonna be a good fight, bro. Like, that's, it's a sleeper fight. I'm surprised the interest is so low in the fight, but it's, yeah, it's a really, it's a good fight. It's a good competitive fight. Good now, good let's good talk fight. about it. The tournament, the first ever Misfits tournament. Who's the biggest danger in that? Who's going to go against Dean, the winner? The biggest dance, you know what it is with these lightweight guys. All of them are very skilled, you know. So you can, you honestly, you never know what could happen. You got Willie Sharks in there. You got Lil Cray Cray in there. You got Yuddy Gang in there. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, Joey Knight, who, who looked pretty good in his last fight. You know, there's a lot of good guys in this in, in this tournament. So like, and, and anything can happen in boxing. So that's why tonight we're gonna get a good glimpse and see who could really go to the finals. But I think tonight. I love it. Now I want to change gears. Obviously, last time I had you on was Misfits News with Ben the Ben Davis. Right. Now let's talk about that the fight you wanted ksi ksi CSI, where CSI. is that going yo you tell me man i want that fight ksi csi dsi whatever you call yourself bro he says he wants to come back and have another fight who else he's gonna fight there's no other influencer fighter that he could fight and I, i'm not gonna lie i feel like i'm beyond the, the rest of these influencers right now but at, at this point where i take boxing now i take boxing very seriously and i'm beyond the point of these guys like, i'm borderline influencer borderline transitioner you know what i'm saying so like the, 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 there's, there's only two fights left for me that's what I, I truly believe. There's either the Nissan Gibb fight or there's uh, the KSI fight. That's the only two fights that's going to take my career to the next level. Everything else is just bonuses. It's just bon Do I need to do a bonus fight? Do I have to? It's, that's how, how I feel. You know what I mean? Like, so KSI, step up. Gibb, step up. I'm ready for any of these guys, bro. I'm from America. I'm down. I know y'all from England and shit, but I I'm with the shits. I'm down. I'm with the shits. I've been calling these guys out for years. I'm down, bro. They keep saying I'm an easy fight. Then prove it. I haven't lost. Yeah, I have everybody to talk my shit, bro. I haven't lost no fights. Every fight I won was domination, one-sided victory, no controversial wins. It was slim winning, my hand raised up, I knocked out everybody I fought, I dropped everybody I fought, I wobbled everybody I fought. Let me prove myself. Give me the chance, KSI, Gib, step up, man up. Let's put on show for the fans. Well, there's rumors of KSI obviously fighting Masvidal, Wayne Rooney. What do you make of those other options? Uh, Masvidal, okay, that's cool. I, I would respect it. Wayne Rooney, I wouldn't respect it, because like, who the fuck is Wayne Rooney, be honest, bro? I don't know, I don't know who he is. He's, I know, he's, he's a football. All right. He's a very famous Manchester United footballer. Yeah? But I don't know, man. I, 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 it don't make sense to me. No. Maybe, maybe it would generate a lot of interest in the UK, but I think it would be more respectful if he fights me. Well, a fight that really interested me there was Anison Gibb. Obviously, Gibb said he's retired, and I know we've spoken about it over and over again. So I'm going to give you the mic here, and I'm going to let you talk to him on the end of the camera. All right, so he, he, there was rumors saying, there's rumors saying that Gibb retired. I seen a clip where he said that there's no fights out there for him. Gibb, stop the cap, bro. You said, you said there's no fights out there for you for Dallas laughing, Leon's laughing, they know that there's only one fight out there left for you if you want to take your career to the next level, and that's me, bro. You got to man up. Be a man, bro. Take the fight. It's been four years, bro. You're always coming up with different excuses. You try to make it seem like I'm the guy ducking. You, you know you don't want the smoke. I'm down anytime this year, bro. Let's make it happen for the fans. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate it as always.